Okay, folks, so we learned the sheath cancel, which is of course really cool and fun to mess around with, but now I'm going to dedicate this little lesson towards really speeding up your gameplay with Soul Course. So, for example, I want you to pay attention to uh, my usage of the Aberrant Soldier Soul Core. Also, if you don't know, if you, you can use Aberrant Soldier Soul Core here to hit the critical spot and insta kill it. Look at that, 2771 damage. And one thing I want you to pay attention to is actually the full animation of Aberrant Soldier. And I want you to, and and let's let's talk about when we think we might be able to take an action, right? So you might think, hey, you gotta wait until you fully recoil or come back and reset, but that's actually not the case. I'm gonna run, look how soon I could run. Like I was buffering a running action beforehand. So you can do this with many, many soul cores. So if you're like, hey, I know I want to move really quickly and just buffer the action. So while the animation is going, just like try to sprint in the direction you want to go. All right. It's remarkable. You'll start in a sprint at the earliest possible opportunity. And that is not necessarily going to be when the animation freshly ends. It is something that is crazy and allows you to play even faster than you thought was possible. But yeah, here I'm just giving Sudama stuff. And anyway, just taking any upgrades as I come across them. Let's see what you got. Anything cool? Uh, whatever. All right, we got a Kodama nearby. Looks like it's either above or below us. We got an Aberrant Soldier Soul Core. Ooh, there's two Kodama. Looks like there's one nearby. Oh, there's an Aberrant there. We've got quite a lot of different enemies to work with. But let's take out this Aberrant, and again, I know it's boring, but proficiencies are very important to get. See, like, how I can quickly attack from there? It almost makes it seem like I'm freaking cheating, because it's like, well, how did you do that faster attack? I'm like, well, the game kind of allowed me to, so why not? Oh, like, Gaki. Hey, how about you just, how about you don't? How about, yeah, exactly. Oh, you're still alive? Not today. Oh, hey, Kodama. So yeah, many of your yokai abilities actually have deceptive animations. You can just do something earlier than you might expect. And this is, in again, intentional by the game developers. All right, so we've got, what, a yokai realm. And it looks like there's this guy I can probably plunge. There is a Kodama. Let's just scout. What else? All right, Nureona. There's this. So I only see two enemies. I think I can just drop down and kill this guy. Oh, oh, there's another enemy. I locked onto it. Oh, okay. So I actually need to pay attention. Let's get this Kodama. Looks like that's all of them, so I don't have to hunt for them. Um, let's shoot it. Excellent. Oh, it's an umbrella. All right, great. See, I'm just using Jitsu to thin the herd. All right, so here, let me demonstrate the Soul Core stuff after I slow it down. All right. All right, so Morning Moon, and then we're gonna do Aberrant Soldier into a low dash. Ah, oh well, it kind of worked. It still died, but you can be pretty fast. So here, let me just show you like a cool little simple thing you can start doing with Soul Cores like Aberrant Soldier, and like literally every Soul Core you come across. All right, so I'm gonna do Morning Moon. All right, and then I'm not gonna actually spend the anima right now, but I'll do Morning Moon, then I'll use Aberrant Soldier. Or the key pulse and then what i'm gonna do is do a running attack right away all right isn't so it's gonna be really fast but remember during the aberrant soldier soul core animation i'm going to be beforehand trying to run just basically trying to run and then you'll see the earliest opportunity that i get i will start running and then i'll do an attack because i'm running all right so let's do that warning moon look at that pretty cool huh that was pretty fast. And so once you start getting more anima to work with, here, I'll actually demonstrate it on this chirp. On this chirp? On this twerp. I was trying to say, I don't know what I was trying to say. Let's just bring him back because I don't want to fall into that water. And then I'll demonstrate how you can start making speedy stuff, all right? So, all right, let's get a nice safe engagement going. All right, let's try this. Morning moon into Aberrant Soldier, all right? Switch, all that. Look how fast that was. Just using what we know. Isn't that remarkable? 
And then of course you can be pretty crazy and start taking things from there. Alright, but let's just level up our jutsu, cause... Ooh! Alright, looks like I got more titles. But yeah, that's one thing you can do with a lot of soul cores and you should totally use it. So yeah, you can have some really fast engagements and you can, hopefully you can start to brainstorm some really cool possibilities. Such as, and here, let me just just talk about like something you can try. Holy cow, that's heavy. Um, yeah, that's fine. That's way too heavy. Okay, whatever. But like, I, I don't want to spend the resource right now, but you could, you know, you do a bunch of attacks, then use a soul core, and then go in real quick, and then remember, imagine if I like, instead of trying to do a, like I could do my dash attack, I could do like flux, sorry, I could do kick, and then do like the double item cancel, the double jutsu cancel into a yokai ability into like all these other attacks so you can start to layer all sorts of things together and it really starts to become much more apparent when you can start playing really fast and speaking of fast get out of here as quickly as possible but right it just gets immense Ooh, you got some stealth grass okay don't know why this is important that a freaking gawky! Get out of here! What the? Really? Really, you jerk? Okay, you know what? You're just gonna get all the jutsu. Shoot me! Come on, do it! Do it! Here! Present, you jerk! Take that! And that! Jerk! Alright, let's see what we got. We've got water I don't want to mess with. We've got that Yamanba. Basically, Yamanbas are punching bags, and so just keep attacking them and they can't do squat. But let me see if I can pull off some pretty na nasty stuff. Alright, this th this will be an attempt. Like I said, an attempt. Oh, god dang it. See, I was trying to do the kick into the double jutsu cancel, but it died. Right now, stuff's just gonna die on this difficulty. But if I had more space and the enemy had a bit more health, then it wouldn't be too bad. But okay, let's see what we got here. Red Spider Lily. Great. But what? What's going on? Oh, just a dialogue. Alright. Floodgate. Great. Close it. And what's actually over here? Uh, a shrine. Sorry, not a shrine. A hot spring. There's so much terminology. It's It's pretty wild. But okay, on the boss that's coming up, and it's actually coming up really soon, I'm going to showcase how you can start adding in some really speedy things with what we have. And it's going to make it your... I hopefully you're surprised by what's going to come out. Alright, there's actually a Gaki on the ground. I'm going to shoot it. And miserably fail. So look at that. Boom. Oh, cool. Bonk. You see how quickly I can move afterwards, even though the full animation takes like three years. So yeah, it's it's gonna start getting crazy from here on out. So be prepared. Hopefully the stuff I've taught you beforehand has kind of prepared you, given you ideas of how you can mess with things. I actually haven't messed with the Scampus, so I'm kind of required to mess with it. Scampus is actually a really fast cancel cord too. Very short animation. What you see with it is kind of what you get. Alright, whatever. Just get more capacity. I can always respec whenever I want. Oh, I'm already capped. I didn't actually need any more. Oh well, that's not a big deal. Um, do I want to ready more jutsu? I really can't anyway. I need more ninjutsu capacity for that. But yeah, let's get some titles. Let me actually showcase... Uh, before I fight the boss, I'll go clear the area up into it, and then I'll show you the how cool this campus core is. So. Campus core is also very fast. Alright. That didn't really demo it well. I'll pick a different enemy. Alright. And right now, keep in mind I'm at B agility. When I get to A agility, which I will be doing pretty soon. Um, I think I'll do that with the next dojo mission. But when I get to A agility, things are just going to get much faster. And so hopefully that will entice you to try different things. All right, so I remember there's like a range guy on patrol, right? I just want to kill him real quick. Unless this is that range guy. So here, um, 
Oh, god dang it, fine. So I'm gonna do Shadow Sword. Rip him. Or not. So, Gamp is actually is really accurate in terms of the tooltip that's displayed. So, the animation for it, it is actually what you see. Very short recovery time, very short starting time, and very good for repositions, can go under many, many attacks from enemies. So, definitely a core that's not to be underestimated. But alright, I think it's boss time. So, let's just apply the strategies that we've known beforehand. Incorporate some of the tech that we've learned. So, a brief recap, we've already talked about um, the sheath cancel. Again, there's many different ways you can do it. Um, it won't be as necessary with this stuff, but the sheath cancel applies not just to offensive abilities, but literally anything that's sheathed. So, for example, if you even take a look at Switchglaive, um, you won't get this for some time, but stuff like this, you can truncate the sheathing animation. Uh, abilities like Thin Air, of course, the sheath cancel is really, really valuable because it takes a long time for you to sheath your weapon. Um, hatchets, of course, have two sheathed abilities, Grease Lightning, and being able to just remove that starting animation um, is actually really, really valuable. Um, other weapons, like the Axe, of course, have their own buffs. So just being able to be in a sheath state to prop this off immediately is really valuable. Dual Swords doesn't need it as much. Odachi's is kind of interesting with Imperative Strike. But yeah, just being able to do that as opposed to having to worry about the sheath animation is super awesome. So definitely worth learning. And there's many different ways to do it. Um, aside from that, I know I've been spamming my Jitsu a lot just to get the proficiencies up as much as possible. I'm pretty sure I can do the Ninjutsu one. I don't know when I can do the Omeo Magic one. Um, if I can't do it as soon as I get access to it, then so be it. But it's really important that you start getting that proficiency up and then reassigning it when you're comfortable with the jutsu that you have. There's a lot of cool things. Um, but all right, let's study this boss and put into practice all the stuff we've been working with, pre-shifting and so on and so forth. All right, so, all right, we got bay blades that do a lot of key damage. One, two, three attacks, okay? We got a glowing spot on the belly. So that's generally what we, what we want to try to hit. All right, we've got a tornado. It looks like it follows me. I need to be wary of that. All right, it's in the trees. Whoa, cuts down trees. All right, burst attack. All right, ooh, okay, so it kind of comes in at me after delay. Whew, we've got some sort of air blade. Dude, this is a lot to remember now. All right, it's in the, the freaking trees. Whoa, oh shoot, that kind of hurt. Whoa, it has a tail swipe. I got lucky there with the block. All right, let's clear that yokai realm. All right, Tornado gives it a lot of downtime, right? Yeah, whoa! Burst attack, grab at the same time. Dude, this is a lot to remember. Okay, let's just go with what I know. One, two, three. And then it has some downtime, right? Ah! Okay, there's some downtime there. Ooh, that's a new one. So it has like these projectiles that can shoot at me. Oh, God, that, that attack hurts. It repositions. Okay, Tornado, I know I can go in. Woo! Okay, so there's some rev up time. Okay, there's a lot of rev up time to a bunch of these attacks. Our tornado I know is safe, so let's just go in. Woo! Ooh, I sidestepped that. Okay, it's in the trees. Is it gonna do that burst attack again? Yeah, yeah, okay, now I know what to expect. Sweet. Here, see, look at that. Look, look how much complexity I'm adding in now. Woo! Okay, tornado attack. Let's see what it does in the dark realm. Ooh, ah, God, I gotta watch out for the tornado. Oh shoot, that Beyblade. Okay, I can block it, but it eats my key. What the clones? Holy frick. Okay, super attack. Okay, I, I can sidestep that Beyblade thing. I wonder if I can dodge it. Okay, is it gonna do burst attack? Whoa, what the, f what the frick, holy. God, oh my god, that was pure luck. God dang it, that Beyblade thing hurts. Oh, I feel like I could dodge it though. Oh, oh my god, I timed it perfectly because I have experience. <laughs> okay, Tornado I know is safe, I can go in. All right, Dispel the Dark Realm. God dang it, okay. So, which is the best way to dodge when you see the Beyblade coming at you? So, it actually is angled. 
So if it's you want to dodge under it. Okay, and you see you can dodge that too. All right, burst attack incoming. Go in. Look at that, cancel everything. Here, you know what? Let's deplete your key. And then just do item cancel crap. All right, right? Absolutely murdered, man. Okay. So let's see what we got. As you can see, this one's fairly, this is not as bad. It's just the clones you gotta worry about. Oh. All right, we got burst attack coming. I mean, that's it. Wasn't really that bad using the information that we knew. I didn't actually intend to first try it, to be completely honest, but I guess I did. And we actually get it soul core. So this, all things considered, using the tactics and information that we have at our disposal, you will be much more likely do not only be comfortable studying enemies, but just obliterating them. I didn't even use all the tech we learned, but see stuff like item cancel, I use it like once. The double jutsu cancel, I use it like once. And then use the whole speedy yokai attacks, abilities, and start quack attacking quickly and just being much more aggressive and confident with my gameplay. And then as a result, he is just decimated. So yeah, pretty wild. Oh, what do you know? Kamae Tachi with Yokai Ability Key Pulse. Yeah, I'm gonna use that. Are you kidding me? The Aberrant Soldier is fun, but uh, let's use Kamae Tachi. Let's just use new stuff. Um, a lot of the stuff is dramatic, like just crazy powerful. If I unlocked anything, looks like I got a Twilight mission. Um, wow, look at this. I got Dojo mission. So it's only gonna get juicier and spicier from here on out. Um, yeah, let's just, I got a little bit of time, so let's just do another dojo mission. I mean, why the frick not? Um, go straight to it. So, you can see the requirements here. For Adept, you generally want to have 20, you, you gotta have 20,000 weapon proficiency. For Ninja, you need 30. You also need 30 for Magic as well. So, this is why I was, I'm stressing that you really just spam the Jutsu so that you can get these dojo missions unlocked that way you can get more access to cooler things like for example i can get more ninjutsu capacity if i do the ninja mission which is fantastic then of course i'll reassign some points as i see fit so i can get to this asap and really start spamming more ninjutsu so i can grind stuff because if you want to be able to get these mystic arts like for example use ninjutsu on yourself faster so this is like way down the line but just being able to do the dojo missions at the earliest possible opportunities enables you to get access to great things like this. Like if you're going to be a full on jutsu build, if that's what you want to do, being able to get to this mystic art as soon as it's available is awesome. And same thing with magic. There's many, many useful magic tools that you want to have. I mean, I know I really want to get a magic capacity, but hey, there's crazy things like familiar talismans, which are absolutely awesome to use in combat. And yeah, you, you definitely want to get... You definitely want to do these missions. Definitely want to use the proficiencies. Like even if you're not a combat or if you're not a jitsu oriented player, just being able to have access to stuff from the get go is so instrumental. But um, yeah, let's just do this dojo mission. We're going to get samurai locks and we're going to kind of put into practice some of the stuff we've been doing, kind of outsmarting this enemy. Take it slow, you don't need to do anything too drastic. I believe you can use any weapon that you have at your disposal, but I'm just gonna be using the sword. All right, so let's just, let's just be safe, study him. All right, so he's gonna have a lot of the same moves that we are. All right, so that's sword key. All right, strong attack. So just assume he's gonna do a lot of the same moves that you're gonna have. Um, because he's a boss, assume that certain moves will have certain priorities. But other than that, play the same way that we're used to. One, two. So if you're familiar with the sword moveset, you're in good shape. All right, sword key, right? I can go in. All right, what's next? All right, that's a move we don't have yet. But yeah, if he's got a, if he's has some downtime, go and attack yourself. All right, so he got a buff. Well, here, let's be cheap. Let's do, let's let's uh, do sheath cancel. Look at that. 
All right, he did kick. Oh, all right, he depleted my key. Let's just get my key back. There's no need to be crazy because we've got dojo missions. We don't have yokai abilities. All right, let's get that kick off. Nice, sheath cancel. Stab. Just did morning moon, cheapskate. My turn. All right, you don't have to take any unnecessary risks. Just take your sweet time. That was a weird reposition. What you got? Falling shadow. Okay, on my turn for morning moon. Blocks two. Let's get some pressure going. All right, let's get some key out. All right, let's sheath cancel. Oh, uh, I was a little too slow, but that's okay. All right, look at this. Okay to block right after. All right, what you doing? Sword key, my turn. All right, what you doing? Looks like you're in high stance. Ooh, high stance strong, my turn. Oh, all right, let's heal up. Next, I stand strong. All right, let's sheath cancel. Oh, isn't that great? Look at that. We had such a huge advantage by being able to throw out that sheath ability, like yeah, quick draw, as we did. Yes, you have so much left to learn, like how to use gakis. <laughs> Learning, get Rex scrub. But yeah, we took out two bosses with just the knowledge that we've acquired. And now with access to more skills, we're going to start thinking of even more complex things. And you're just going to really feel how the gameplay just accelerates. It's, it's going to be a lot of fun and it's really exciting. Um, I'm going to stop for now. But when I get back, we're going to do more progression things. And then just as a tease, we're going to add another layer after we complete this main mission. So it's going to get wild, like seriously. And it's just the amount of creative ways you can play this game is just going to blow up literally double in terms of yokai abilities. And it's just it's going to be a fun time. So thank you guys for watching. I hope this was helpful and I will see you guys in the next lesson.